Hi, it's me, Yuta at Mio Nice. How's your knife going? Is it as sharp as this? Or this? If not, you better check this video. You learn about a good quality, beautiful Damascus Japanese knife. This is perfect for a gift as well. The special knife is her Sunmai Hybrid Splash. This is light. This is very light as well. Now look at them. Yes, they are nice. They got a darkish finish and beautiful and unique pattern on the blade. What you're seeing now is a chef knife from the left. A Tuten and Santoku, Nakiri for vegetable and patty. They are really beautiful and nice. The pattern on the blade is called Damascus. A 32 softer layers are making this pattern, like 16 layers each. It's not printed for sure, so it's never a going off. This structure is quite Japanese-like. I mean, this sandwich structure. The sandwich structure make a knife easier to reach up in. Yes, this knife is very easy to resharpen. This is thin as well. Thinner knife is easier to resharpen. If you want to check thinness, see like this. The blade is made of hard Japanese stainless called DZ10. Thanks to its hardness, this sharpness stays sharp really long and simply having a long lifetime. So you don't have to buy a new knife like every single 3, 4, 5 years. If you don't have it, it lasts even longer. For sure you have to sharpen it though. The brand is Zanmai from Seki. Seki is one of the most famous regions in Japan as a knife producer. Their knife has been loved for a long time all over Japan or even the world I would say. Each Zanmai knives are thinned by artisan, like really thin so that they can only make 50 knives per day it's really a, I would say authentic a hand thin knife Zanmai knife is not only beautiful but unique you must have already realized the handle is unique and special this hexagonal shape will fit your hand comfortably it's similar to a traditional Japanese a octagonal handle this will give you more grip. I mean, getting not soupy. People have different preference for handle for sure, but I would say most people would like this handle. This handle for sure will be the advantage comparing to the other lines from Zanmai. This hybrid special line is especially thin even out of Zanmai lines, I mean from a compelling to affordable lines from Zanmai. That's why I'm recommending this knife. Still, it's not too expensive. Like 200 bit quids. So now, let's talk about the differences of shapes. This will give you idea which shape and the, what kind of size you'd like. As a multi-purpose, not too long, we got 180 Chef and 180 Santoku. They do everything like meat, fish, and vegetables. Having one would be good enough. This good quality multi-purpose knife will for sure make a difference in your kitchen. The difference between them is the shape. Like they got, the like Chef knife got more carved and Santuk got the most straight. Chef knife, chef knife is much more suitable for rocking motion. And Santuk is much more suitable for more straight motion. If we want to do both a 210 longer chef knife, 
is a good idea comparison for 180 I would say 210 size is anyway most recommendable size it's very nice even for professional kitchen or domestic use as well if you want longer we got the 240 as well if I compare to 180 well that that's different If you're a professional chef, maybe this size is something you have to go. Well, it's your preference and it depends on your kitchen. Belly knife is always good to have. We got 150 and 110. 110 size is really nice for peeling, I think. My favorite shape, like really small and short. And if you wanna use it on cutting board as well, length will be helpful. So. 150 is something to go. If I make a set like for 100 to 10, yeah, you can make a set with any multi-purpose knife, like Santuk chef knife, whatever. But if you want to pick a 150, I would recommend something longer than 210, like 150 and 180. It's not that different. Like 180 is the size of chef knife, smallest chef knife, and the Santuk. This square shape is called nakiri. It's for vegetable. Cutting straight forward. Well, don't eat. Like santoku. Not like cutting, uh, rocking. Nakiri will be perfect for a main knife for a vegetarian person. And yeah, for sure the shape is unique and kawaii. This straight shape will help a ed the edge touching on the cutting board, board a lot. This shape is attractive. So here is professional like a slicers, 240 and a 270. I don't mean it's only for professional. I mean I don't count what they do as a normal everyday cooking. Enthusiastic ones must have one at home because they have the job only they can do. This is Chinese cleaver. It's actually not from hybrid splash line, but they a share the this unique handle. This looks like a meat cleaver, but not. It's really thin one, so you cannot go to the bone, but it's really sharp, like far sharper than a cleaver knife. Like I mean. Chopper. He's a multi purpose knife as well, and it's really fun to use. If you are looking for a good quality multi purpose knife and wanting a small petty, but if you don't have any budget for the smaller petty, it's always nice, recommendable picking a picking patty from affordable line. So now I'm quickly making a recommendable set. Check it out. I'd like to give you a general instruction before I'm telling you going to our online shop. The instruction I'm giving you is very general. It's the all the common for the good quality Japanese knives. First, do not cut something hard as it's made of very hard steel and a thin steel. It means a delicate than European style knife as well. So if you try to cut something hard like a, uh, frozen food, fish bones, it risks chips. You can fix chips, but they, for sure, it shortens the lifetime of the knife, so I do not recommend. 
the other important thing is do not put good Japanese knife in dishwasher. It's not good for both handle and a blaze at the same time. A hard knives contains a lot of carbon which is reactive with all water. So even if it's stainless, if you put in dishwasher, uh, it will rust. Again, for normal use, you will not rust these it in good quality steel. As long as you don't put in dishwasher or like uh, you soak it in the water all the day or uh, leave it without the lemon or tomato or so, those acidic things. So that's it. This knife is really good and uh, functional, perfect for yourself or gift for someone special. Now go to miraknives.com and uh, check it out. We are ready to answer any question as well, like we are available on chat, on Facebook, Instagram, whatever. We will give you a professional advice about the knife or stone or something, whatever. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you, see you, bye.